bonjour. Long time no see. Uh, just a little video to show a couple of new pieces I've got. <coughs> Excuse me, I do that a lot, don't I? Um, this is a 1930s uh, Beskal elephant boiling ring. You can tell it's old because it's made in England and we don't make anything anymore. Uh, 1930s, but uh, it was brand spanking new. It had never been used prior to me getting it. Uh, this isn't the sort of thing I normally get, but it showed up on my Bakelite radar because the handles and the feet are Bakelite, which was mentioned in the eBay listing. So uh, it showed up on my radar, and I thought, yeah, that's quite fancy. I quite like that. You can tell how old it is because it's got the old-style round pin plug. This is what we used to have back in the 30s in England. I didn't want to change the plug, I wanted to keep the original one, so I've got this uh, converter thing. Mm. So I can use it. Mm -mm. I'll plug it in and show you it going. It's literally just designed for replacing a gas ring. If you didn't have gas in your house or something, you could just use this. I could use it for the kettle, I suppose, but that would just be looking for excuses to use it. Works perfectly well. It's got this little grill that you can fold up for some unknown reason. But yeah, perfect condition. The old fabric covered flex. And uh, I actually use this for my wax seals now because I've got a new, uh, well not new, it's antique again, but a new uh, casting ladle which I use for my wax. Look at that. <laughs> it's got a spout on it. So you heat it up and then bore it out of the spout. And I just dunk that on there to warm it up. This was quite rusty when I got it. And uh, I did the vinegar trick with it. Vinegar works a treat. It just takes a while. It took a few days. Dunk it in a cup of vinegar. And uh, it fizzed and bubbled away and made a horrible stinking scum on the top of the vinegar. But uh, after a few days it had cleared out all the rust, it looked amazing. But uh, when people do that with uh, cast iron cutlery, uh, not cutlery, um, like pans and things like that, they then have to recondition the surface with uh, oil. They sort of cook it with the oil on it so it creates like a skin to stop it from rusting again. I couldn't really do it with this because this is going to be used for, it's not going to be used for cookery obviously. This was originally used for bullets like the last one I had. You would put lead in it and then uh, melt the lead and pour it into bullets. So I just melted wax and then so, you can see it's got, sort of got a red hue to it. I just coated it in wax basically. A thin sliver of wax that will just protect it from the air and stop it from rusting again. So yeah, that's uh, a couple of little things for you. <laughs>